Hello everyone! So today I'm here to Pretty J, Pretty J. Ah. Okay, so today I'm here to talk to you about the book Divergent by Brian Cross. What it looks like. Okay, so it doesn't mean you haven't read it real quick. Um, it's got a good interest who lives in a society that is divided by faction. He's 15, he's going to choose a faction, spend the rest of his life. Let's make his stomach, the whole book. And at the end, there's a little twist. Twist turns death. Hmm. You're basically still some novel. Or is <laughs> Okay. So, these men will take on whatever it is. It is a freaking amazing book! Like, seriously, if you have not read it, go read it right now. Because it's awesome! And I seriously fell in love with it. After this chapter, I, I can stop. I can stop reading. This one is really good. So weird. My friend just looked at me like, the heck is wrong with you? But, you know what? No. I don't care. I'm going to take more time to read up. Anyways, on the book, because I don't want to make this too long with my other, which, ten rants. They all ended up too long, and I can post them. So, anyways. Starting off with the faction. From all the book reviews that I've watched and I've read, they're connecting it to Hollow Cubby, which I told you the connection, I told you it. Um, that wouldn't have been my first sort of connection to, you know, faction. But, but I see your point there. Cool. Cool. My take on it, my theory is that. Hello, they're 16. In every high school, you have groups. You have your box, you have your press, you have your email. And you have your popularity. And you have people who go party costumes. I think they're really popular. I don't know. Anyways, um, in this book, five factions, um, 16, choose one. And each faction has their own traits, their own looks, their own rest, their own Thinking way, thinking style, thinking way. Haha, we have more work to do. Anyway, um, thinking, thinking style. Okay, you have your own thinking style. And um, to me, I first read through this. I read two times. When I first read through this, I was back to reading this guide, even though like some were were it really part of the book, but each faction needs to be described. So, as I was reading through this, I made connections to all those groups. Um, like, three examples are, like, the three most mentioned factions in this book. I'm not sure if I'm going to search it, because I've read that yet. But I will. Watch the watch movie in two days, and then do a review. Right. Probably going to be rant. Anyways. Faction um, each faction, here are examples of what I can do. Okay, so, um, Dauntless, Piercing Tattoos, Black Clothing, um, I don't know, Goth? Goth Daredevil, yeah. That's what I <laughs> Um, really cool, Goth Daredevil. Yeah. So I that's what I would categorize them as. And um abnegation. They're like charity workers. Yeah, they don't have to dress it, but they sure have like attitude and you know, the volunteering and helping others. They have that thing going on that they're just like it's kind of their their goal in life is to help others. I, I can't live in amnesia. I can't. If I was born into amnesia, I would drink the help the second I got to that chair. So dominant. Oh yeah. That's all the way. 
anyways. Um, and the inferior average cherry workers will go across the front door open in the morning. They will pick up other people's trash in the hallway. They will go school and clean the whiteboards for the teachers. You name it. Helping others. Volunteer, volunteer work is their thing. And irritate. <laughs> irritate. <laughs> um, there's, there's no place for me to say, guys. Um, they just kind of fall our classes. And they might not look as much dirty as they really are, but in reality, they read. Hell, and their only their real passion is knowledge. And you know, they're like when they have that knowledge, they kind of think so. That's not good. But if they can do it, we can do it too. Nice to nice. No? Okay. Um, come on guys, I'm sure I can like, make some sperm and take over the world. At least Washington. Yeah. Very least Washington. Anyway, so, uh, I can put on around. I think we went over time again. So please, bye bye. Love you all. Okay. See you next time.